All right, here's the abilities for the new agent fade in as quick as possible. I'll aim for a minute, but this agent's kind of complicated and also very strong. First ability is Prowl. It kind of acts like a boom bot for rays. It travels across the ground. If it spots an enemy, it latches onto them, chases towards them and near sights any enemies that it catches. And like a boom bot, you can move it around in the same way that you can move around a sky flash. So you can move it around corners, check if there's anybody there. And you have two charges of this. It's pretty cool. And it's fairly straightforward. You're getting a few examples on how it works on screen. So here's me just rambling. So you get a better look on how it works. The next ability I wanted to talk about is her signature haunt, where you pick up this orb, you throw it out on the ground, and it turns into this massive pair of eyes that maps any opponents in its vicinity and also within line of sight. Not only do the enemies that get mapped show up on the minimap and also through the wall, kind of like a silver Aldron ping, but they are also affected by a new debuff called Marked, where if they move around, they leave this black trail on the ground where you can see exactly where they move to. For example, here, I throw in the orb, caught the fade in this corner. They've ran to safety, let's assume, and I can see exactly where they move to, but I don't get any information on who it is. And the reason why I mention that is because these two abilities that I just mentioned do combo. For example, if I mark an opponent and they move around, I can send a prowler out, which will automatically connect onto the trail and follow it like a train track to where the enemy has gone. It also tells me on the UI on screen who it is that I'm connecting onto, much like a KO Suppress. And the Prowler moves at twice the speed, which is actually kind of terrifying when it happens to you, I'll admit. I pooped my pants a little bit. The third and final normal ability is Seize, where much like Haunt, you throw out an orb, it hits the ground, but instead of turning into a massive pair of eyes, it turns into an area that you cannot actually leave. You're tethered to this position, you take decay and damage of minus 75, but your health does rise as the ability goes on, but you cannot leave this circle. You are automatically attached here, pulled into the center a little bit, and you cannot break this thing in the middle. Unlike Haunt, you can break the eyes before it marks you, but if you're caught in this radius, there's no way for you to get out unless you use certain abilities. Again, we'll talk about that with a myth busting video, but the general gist is that if you get stuck in a circle, you're kind of screwed, especially if there's like a shock dart combo that comes in with it. Like the combos with these abilities are going to be amazing. Both the haunt and the seize abilities have the same trajectory with the orb that you're throwing, which is the exact same to Phoenix Molly. So learn your Phoenix Molly lineups. You'll get some good lineup ideas for this. Also, if you throw it high up into the air, it will stay in the air for 1.5 seconds before it decides it's going to hit the ground. So you can have some really cool lineups working towards you. For example, changing the close corners. You can also activate the ability a little bit early in the air in order to force it down on the ground where you want it to. So you have a lot more control there. The ultimate is Nightfall. This is basically rolling thunder, but with everything that I just mentioned. So not only are you marked when you're hit by this ability in the same way that you are with Haunt. Again, this shows up where you're stood and all that jazz that gets all that information, allows prowlers to connect onto you, but it also decays you. So it doesn't do any damage. It doesn't stun you or debuff you in any case other than the trail effect. But if this connects onto other abilities or the other toolkits that Fade has available to her, then yeah, you're sort of seeing exactly how this stuff can really come together. She's going to be a real difficult agent to get your head around, but that's exactly how her abilities work in as quick as possible. Again, we'll have a video going over over 100 different questions to answer, much like this Neon video that I did a couple of months ago. So keep an eye out for that. Check out all of the new content on the skins and all that jazz. And we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Bye 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 bye.